What's up guys? Thanks for stopping back by the channel, The Auto Shop Life. So as you guys know, no secret to the channel, I buy a lot of Snap-on tools. So I wanted to compile my uh, experience in this year's tool buys by doing a couple videos on the sna just Snap-on tools in general. This first one's going to be my top five best buys from Snap-on. Check it out. Shut up and sit down. So getting right into it, um, bought some stuff off the Snap-on truck this year. You know, you guys know I run a shop, I'm a shop owner, I try to pay close attention to that. I probably do a little extra than I have to for multiple reasons. Obviously, you know, I only got a few techs here in the shop, so some of the tools I buy, if it makes my job easier, being by myself and being able to get the job done without, you know, an extra foot to bleed brakes or, you know, a guy to hold a scanner or a guy to, you know, do a wiggle test and things like that, I'll buy those tools. And most of them in this top five is tools going down that path, you know, obviously tools that I bought to make my job personally easy and as opposed to, you know, Stan the tech here's job easier, Lauren, whether she uses the tools or you guys even out there put the information out there to make your guys' jobs easier. But I'm gonna run through my top five picks and buys from 2019. Um, some of these tools obviously aren't from 2019, but I did buy them this year. Kind of just go buy them one at a time, show you guys, you know, after months and months of using them, what I like about them. If I did a video on them, I'll leave a card up top to kind of, you guys can go back on the video to see maybe my first impressions on some of these tools. But now I'll give you my impressions that, you know, after using them for, you know, obviously a month or more, I think my newest tool here is a month old. So you guys can get, kind of get my, impressions when I first got it as opposed to you know what I use them for now so check it out we'll dive into the first one all right guys so obviously the first one on my list and probably probably the most expensive one here is the snap-on smart smoke bought this thing at the beginning of the year haven't looked back since ended up picking this one up because my normal blue point one actually uh, finally went out you know after uh, years and years of use you know these things don't last forever you know at least that one does hopefully this one does but uh, this one's a game changer. I mean, pairing this one, part number on this one is the uh, EELD 500, and it's the Smart Smoke digital version. Uh, this thing's got loads and loads of features, loads and loads of options. Uh, pair this thing with the BK 8500 camera because it does have the UV dye you put in there, you know, pretty much baby oil with, you know, dye traces in it, so it does get picked up on the black light. It does get picked on the BK 8500, you know, special camera lens. So if you got those leaks at the top of the gas tank or those, you know, behind the intakes where it's kind of hard to find, you know, this makes quick work of it. I've actually done a bunch of Instagram posts on this thing. Great smoke machine. This thing, you pretty much plug and play, ready to go. Things powers up. As soon as you turn the button on, this thing's plume and smoke everywhere. Um, but what I do like about it is, you know, you could also check vacuum on the systems. Um, you could also, it also self cap you plug this thing in, it also self calibrates you can basically put it on a car, you know, 2000 and newer, which would be 20,000 self cabrace and then does a leak check for you. So it basically re give you a digital readout of if you have a leak or not, if it passes, it'll just show pass pretty much done. You know, you fixed the problem. Also, what I like about it is got the low flow. So, you know, if you're smoking those intakes or, you know, exhaust leaks where, you know, you got too much smoke going on, you could kind of dial the smoke back and all that stuff. So you could pinpoint the exact leak when it's a really small leak. Lots of great features on this thing. Lots of great accessories you could buy for it. In the back, it does have a spot for the old NICAD batteries you could plug into there. I believe they do have an adapter to where you could use the lithium batteries. I haven't looked into that yet. You got the wireless remote on there that I thought I've lost by now, but I actually still got it. Just kind of hang it on the little handle here. It does have an extra hook so you can hang it. Extra long leads. Going through some of the accessories I got for it. Obviously, this is one of them. You also have an options you power this machine on, it defaults to shop air, but you also have options to use CO2 or nitrogen. Obviously, you guys see I got the CO2 tank here. Actually just used, you know, one of my old paintball tanks. All I had to buy was the regulator and, you know, coupler valve and all that stuff. So this is what we use when I do use the machine. Just head down the street to fill this thing up. It's like $4 or whatever. I got a couple of them just fill up every time I run out. But they do last, you know, if you have it on, find a leak, then turn it off. You're not just running this thing, putting smoke through systems, but great for exhaust leaks intake leaks, 
EVAP leaks, I mean, this tool is probably, uh, I've had this tool for less than a year. I could probably say it's about made its money back in value. Um, I mean, you can't go wrong. Obviously a bigger buy, but for me as a shop owner, this would probably be probably one of my top picks, my Snap-on top pick for 2019, Snap-on Smart Smoke. All right, guys, diving down to number two, probably another bigger buy. Uh, I have to say, put a price on this one, maybe around $500 range. It's the wireless pressure gauge. Um, comes as a kit. Picked this one up probably six or seven months ago, maybe eight months ago. I can't remember 100%. EEPV700. This is the kit, but it's basically a wireless unit. Now, when I bought this, I'm thinking, you know, I, I have a fuel pressure gauge, I have a vacuum gauge, I have trans pressure gauge, oil pressure gauge. Well, I think at the time I didn't have the trans pressure gauge because I was on the fence about buying it. But I'm thinking, you know, what kind of uses can I get out of this? Obviously, some of the features I liked about it, it was wireless, so it has an app on your phone. You know, you can kind of hook it up to the unit wirelessly or Bluetooth, I believe it is, and then you can get the readout on your phone. It does do grafting. You guys know I like to save. When I'm diagnosing cars, I like to save any information I can for not only me, but showing the customer whether I'm selling the job or you know, for future work or anything like that. I like to kind of save what I can. You guys can only imagine the SD cards I have full of just information. Some of the stuff, I don't even remember where it was from because I never labeled it, but now I do. But this is a great way to keep track. You guys are diagnosing a lot. Keep track of the data, things like that. Another great feature for this one is obviously when you're working by yourself. So the kit has, comes with a nice case. You guys, I try to put the link above up top. I think we did a, tools in use on this one I'll stick it up top but definitely like the case like how the top slides off you can kind of stick it in a drawer you know the lid doesn't have to come up and hit the top of the drawer if it's a shell or a drawer but comes with the unit itself and what I like about this what I like about this is obviously you got your on and off buttons you got your Bluetooth connectivity and then you also have you know the mold and calibration and all that stuff so I think when you power this thing on, it defaults to pressure, I want to say. You just hold the button, and it also works as a standalone. Obviously, you guys don't need the app to make this work, but you guys see, if you guys go check out that video from before, I think I mostly use this thing on fuel pressure and things like that, but what's nice about it is you can hook this up under the hood, shut the hood, have your phone on you, you don't have to have another guy with you, and go for a test drive all along the while you're recording. So if you got, you know, fuel pump drop, drop out, things like that, you know, drivability issues. This will not only record, but you don't have lines sticking out of the hood. You know, when you go to hook up to your service port or Schrader valve or whatever it is, whatever you're testing, you could get it on a test drive and not only record it, but this could be under the hood and you don't have hoses and lines sticking out. It could be a one man job. So definitely a big buy for this year. I definitely try to find as many excuses to use this as I can. What's nice about it is this thing does work with the rest of the kits as far as what comes in this kit is basically you got your fuel for the fuel. This does come in a kit. Obviously, you guys know I have two or three of these because I do have the Snap-on standalone fuel pressure tester. So all these kits do work together. Um, you don't necessarily have to use, if you could get this to hook up to any line, any kit you have, you could put this on there instead of just the regular dial gauge or anything like that. So. You know, the options, the versatility of it makes it great. You kind of get a tool within a tool. You guys know how I feel about that. You know, any, any six in one, 10 in one tool or two in one tool is better than buying two separate tools by itself. But another great buy 2019. You guys haven't checked this one out. The wireless pressure test kit, you guys check it out. All right guys, diving into number three. Before we do, I just want to mention all the, all the tools we talk about today, I'll try to leave the part number is down in the description. Also, I'll try to leave, leave an Amazon link to, you know, maybe a good alternative through Amazon and things like that. Because obviously, you know, some smoke machines, things like that, snap-on prices, you know, get a little high. But, you know, for me, it's, you know, not only the warranty, the truck comes to me and all that stuff. But basically, the snap-on tools hold their value better than anything else. But I'll have all the part numbers, links to alternate tools down in the description. So getting off to the next one. Kind of same thing ties into the uh, ties into the being able to work for stuff on your own. Another wireless tool by Snap-on. Another great one. I believe they came out with this one end of 2018. I want to say something around there. But this one's the Advanced Digital Multimeter. So it comes in a soft case. Pick this one up. I think at the beginning of the year, very beginning of the year, I was on the fence about it because you know obviously DVOMs. I got plenty of them. 
So I kind of didn't know what was going to be proprietary to having this one or just using my old school method of doing it. But after picking this thing up, using it a bunch, it's a great tool. You know, it's not only a strong multimeter by itself, but some of the, uh, some of the added bonuses and added features on it is obviously same thing as the digital pressure tester. It has an app you can download on your smartphone. Same thing, go on test drives, you can record live data. This thing does do grafting, does do true RMS. Um, I heard a couple people say that, you know, they're not too hot on the leads. I personally haven't had problems with the leads. Um, you know, obviously you just have the right tip on there. So if you're back probing, or I got some elevator clips on here right now, I mean, it, it gets the job done, but you can switch out the leads and all that stuff. It's got a real nice long leads here. You can see it's got, you know, the dial, it's got the better screen on there. So instead of having it, you know, like a vertical, they kind of flipped it. So you get a bigger screen now. And obviously my old eyes, hard to see anyways, hard to hear any, everything else. You know, obviously with the bigger screen, it's great to see it definitely, uh, you know, it's got a nice color LED on there. You know, we'll dive down, I'll show you. One of the downsides to this one I've noticed though, you know, living here in the colder climates, obviously when I come to the shop, if I go to pull this thing out, the cold shop, the screen tends to kind of be a little dim until this thing kind of warms up and all that stuff. But anything outside of that, definitely a great tool buy. Definitely one of my favorites. Part number on this one is EEDM596F. And that's the Advanced Digital Multimeter. Definitely a great buy for this year. Um, I mean, it's my go-to multimeter, especially when I'm really getting down and dirty into these diags. You know, something quick, obviously, if I'm you know, testing a battery or just testing if something that has power or something like that, you know, I'll grab my old DVOM. But for the most part, any kind of advanced diagnostics or diagnostic that I'm going to be recording with, I bust this one out. Great buy, great find through Snap-on. Definitely something innovative for this year. Definitely love this multimeter. You guys can see wrapping this one up, kind of wrap it around. It's got a little strap here at the bottom. You guys can see I kind of just like tuck them in. You can roll the strap around and it locks everything in place. So you know, got leads hanging all around and all that stuff. All right, guys. Getting to number four, last couple on here. Obviously, a little bit cheap on the cheaper side. Um, not sure what to talk about first. The CT762. Now, this is probably one of my newest out of the five here, but I gotta say, this so far so good with this tool. You guys haven't checked out the Brute, give it a shot. Put this thing in your hands. You guys got a snap on dealer, hop on a truck, put this thing in your hand, pull the trigger a few times. I mean, this tool. You know, definitely got a couple cons. You know, obviously it's a little bit slower, but you know, I, I'm not always in a rush. But the power this thing puts out, the way this thing feels, you guys know how I feel about the 14.4 line snap on. You know, I'll never let it go. You know, these tools are some of the greatest. Yes, Milwaukee makes great battery power tools, and they're probably top of the market right now. But I've already bought into the snap on tools. You know, it's something I don't want to let go. It's something I really like. I definitely like a lot of features on these as opposed to the Milwaukee. Sometimes they're just too big. You know, the heads on those things are huge. You know, you don't need all that, you know, between, I'd say the batteries are great, but between, you know, it being bulky and things like that, sometimes you just need something a little bit smaller, a little more petite, but the size on this one compared to the size and the power it puts out, the torque this thing puts out, this, this, this one was definitely one of, my, one of my finest buys this year. Definitely really like this one. You guys feel any different about it? Everybody has their opinion. Everybody has their ratchets. You know, this one, I own a lot of them. This one's definitely been my go-to. You guys check this one out. Definitely a great battery power ratchet by Snap-on, the CT762. All right, and then jumping down to the last one and probably the cheapest one on the top five here is Snap-on wireless lights. You guys know I, I have a passion for flashlights. I have a ton of them. These are my go-to flashlights. I actually thought I lost this one a couple weeks ago, but ended up finding it. It was almost heartbroken, but these lights are fantastic. You know, and what I like about these is I'm, I got so many flashlights and not enough chargers. You know, sometimes when I'll use a light, I'll be using it, I'll set it down under a hood or something, I'll walk away, I'll forget that it's on. Obviously they go dead. I'll forget to charge them, I'll go to reach for it the next day or later on that day and it's dead. But what I like about these is when I put them away where they go, they automatically charge. So, you know, every time I'm grabbing these things, when I'm not using them, they're pretty much fully charged, ready to go. Great one by Snap-on. I mean, it, I can't really say more. I definitely think that Snap-on should come out with more of these. You know, like any new flashlights they make from here now into the future, 
you know, could have a plug for, for a charger on it, however they want to sell it, you know, whatever the fantastic things of the chargers are, but let them have wireless charging capabilities so you could kind of use them like you can with the pressure test, how they're kind of, you know, they're universal, they work with other tools, they kind of, all the, all the snap-on tools kind of sync together, things like that. This kit comes with obviously the two flashlights, one puts out, I think, 700 lumens or something like that. The other one puts out 300. I can't remember, but the part number on this full kit, I believe, is the ECFL PRA350, I want to say. And the charging pad is just your basic charging pad. I've stuck my phone on this thing. You know, wireless charging phones do charge on this. And that's what I mean about it being great by, you know, any new snap-on light they come out with could have a charger on it if you wanted to charge it with the plug, but also have wireless charging capabilities to where when you go to set that flashlight down, it charges for you. Definitely a great one by snap-on. I like how it's got the, it does use the USB-C type, and then it also has got an out. I do utilize that. I hang this on the side of my toolbox, you know, in the workstation, and then I run another one off of that because I have so many flashlights, not enough plugs. It's not like I'm gonna have 30 wires hanging out. I do share plugs to charge these flashlights, but that's one less wire I have to have hanging out, and plus the plug it does take up, or the USB it does take up, it gives you back. So you're really not taking up, you still have room, especially if you're, you know, you're kind of cramped on space or cramped on, power or whatever you could still charge your phone off of it or charge another flashlight off it or still use it as a power outlet definitely a great one by snap-on all right guys so wrapping this one up you got my top five buys for 2019 from snap-on the next one's going to be my top five not so hot buys from snap-on obviously they're probably going to be a little bit lower priced tools but tools i bought this year from snap-on that you know either didn't work out as the way intended, kind of, you know, I had higher expectations than what they, what they do for me, or just plain old ones that I'm not using, you know, because there's either a better tool out there, or another company makes it a better one, or I just don't use it. You know, it's kind of one of the niche things. I do get impulsive on the truck sometimes and buy these tools thinking that I may need them, and so far this year I may have bought them and I haven't. So you guys make sure you check out that video coming up next. You guys make sure, uh, Subscribe to the channel. We're almost at 10k guys guys. I'm very humble. We're, we're almost there about to hit it You know one of my good milestones I'd say I'd like to hit it this year But hey if we get in the next year, it could be my new year's resolution hit 10,000 subscribers. Thanks to you guys But I'll keep putting out this great content for you guys you guys uh, like these videos leave a like so I got no I'm on the right track Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of the, my top five from Snap-on. Let me know if you guys got any experience with any of these tools. I know some of them are a little higher priced, but that doesn't mean you need to get out there and get them because something makes your job easier. You'd be more efficient as a technician, all the above. These tools have been great as opposed to many others and not just Snap-on in general. A lot of these tools make my life so much easier. I don't know what I did without them before, but stay tuned for the next video. As always, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Check you in the next one. Signing out.